Well, that was a really weird game and not exactly for the reasons that I thought it would be. I thought that would be, you know, an outright battle for an hour and a half, you know, attack after attack, end to end, you know, scintillating stuff. Allow the hair, by the way. I've just, I just got out of the shower and it looks uh, atrocious, but I wanted to give my opinion on this, uh, on this game because I thought it was quite interesting. But, sorry, diverting there, but we just did not get that. We did not get the kind of end-to-end -end aggressive game that I thought we were going to get. And um, I have to say, well played to Arteta. I have to say it because his game plan, he executed it absolutely perfectly. You have to give it to him. You know, he didn't have Odegaard, he didn't have Rice, and he knew that he was going to have to play a different way to how he would normally play. He couldn't be as aggressive he couldn't push his height the pitch, you know, without Declan Rice coming in and, you know, clearing up those clear, loose balls. He can't be as aggressive. And Odegaard, you know, without Odegaard, there's, that's a lot of creativity in that side that is gone. And he knew that. And um, he executed his plan to perfection. They, uh, they sort of dug in, pretty low block, and they just beat Tottenham. They beat Tottenham. And, you know, everyone knows how Tottenham are going to play. They're going to come at you. They're going to have more of the ball, probably. They're going to have a million and a half chances, no, not even half chances. They're going to have a million like attempts. They're not even going to be any good and they're probably not going to score. And that's what happened today. Tottenham had so much of the ball. It was absolutely ludicrous. I thought, I forgot what the stat was at the end, but it must have been like 70%. Like, and I'm pretty sure that's what they're averaging in each game, but they just don't seem to be able to, you know, get that goal, be clinical. And it's funny to me because I heard, um, I heard Hu Min Son, Son Hu Min, after the game coming out and saying that the manager had told him not to shoot, you know, to when he gets into those sort of, oh, sorry, when he gets into those sort of positions, not to shoot, you know. And I was thinking to myself, what? That is, that is Son Heung Min's best trait is shooting. And I know, you know, it's all like possession. We want to keep the ball. We want to recycle the ball if we can, you know, don't take those risks. But this is, this is one of the best finishers in the world. If not, you know, maybe the second best finisher at third. You know, this is a top five finisher in the world here. And telling him not to shoot when he gets into those positions is just crazy to me. Uh, that's what I saw in the post game anyway. But yeah, back to back to Arsenal. Just incredible, incredible. What a performance. I think it's really just, it really kind of demonstrates Arteta's flexibility, managerially speaking. I mean, just being able to assess the opponent and this scenario and what, you know, the situation we're in ourselves and be able to adapt to that and put out a team and have a game plan and just execute it to perfection like they did. And credit to them, absolutely credit to them. Credit to Gabriel as well. I thought Gabriel was fantastic in that game. Uh, apart from the goal, I thought it was great. Better than Saliba, I thought. And Timber as well, also a candidate for Man of the Match. They were absolutely rock solid at the back there. And I thought it was fantastic. Spurs, Spurs are just, I feel really bad for Spurs fans. I, <laughs> I don't envy them at all. They, they really have it rough, don't they? I mean, I feel like I've watched two or three of their games so far this season, that being one of them. And it feels like the same story every time. And that that was just the combination of it all, really, in such a big game, being so dominant, having so much of the ball, you know, being so high up the pitch. Romero and Mickey van der Ven. God, Mickey van der Ven. Mickey van der Ven. I don't think they deserve to be on the losing team there. I thought they were sensational sensational except for on that one corner which ultimately cost them the game very sadly but yeah it's just it must be so frustrating to be a Spurs, Spurs fan and have to watch that and you know I have so much promise but you know there's no there's no finish you know it's like that little sort of pre-come before the catch-up comes out type deal you know and that for me ugh, just the worst and I think I think Postacoglu as well is you know what's going on there is his time coming to an end what do you think because you know, he's had a year. He started off so well in the league last year. They were unbeaten for about nine games, but now it's all just sort of come crumbling apart. And what I will say is that maybe maybe the data and video analysis are looking at this, you know, at Spurs and saying, well, you know, he's, you know, he should have won that game. He should have won this game. Oh, sorry. He should have won that game. He should have, you know, maybe done better in this game. Maybe he's just being unlucky. And that is definitely a factor in football because Spurs controlled that game for the large part. They do have to work on their set pieces, but ultimately a very disappointing result for Spurs fans. And I do feel for them. For Arsenal though, it's it's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? I mean, after that shaky uh, rice red card, well, yellow card, second yellow card against Brighton, that is exactly what they needed, isn't it? You know, no rice, no, no Odegaard. They must be on cloud nine. 
feeling incredible because, you know, what a performance, what a team performance. They really deserved that. And, you know, they could have had a few more as well playing like that. I remember Martinelli sort of being in on goal one time and, you know, curling a shot straight into the hands of Vicario when he could have just laid it into Saka. I mean, it was on his it was on his right foot and he had sort of cut in. But, he, could, you know, Arsenal could have done better in these scenarios, whereas all of Spurs' chances were, you know, speculative crosses, you know, Saliba and Gabriel just having none of it. Timber as well. Just no, they just said no and ultimately held strong. And what a performance. And they are ultimately in the title race once again, as they probably should be. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below, though, and maybe check out this video if you like that. Just me sort of talking to the camera, giving my thoughts on games like this. And maybe I'll see you next time.